Today, we are going to be watching a underrated rom-com of the early 2010s. This came out in 2011. It has some very recognizable names still to this day. I don't know what it was about this movie, but this movie kind of fell through the cracks. It really wasn't talked about when it came out. And a good comparison I can give to that, it kind of reminds me of the same popularity that LOL with Miley Cyrus got. It was a Disney Channel star moving on to star in their own movie that had no association with Disney's channel or really kids at all. It was really focused on teens and young adults. As you know, this movie stars Selena Gomez and it's called Monte Carlo. This was one of Selena's roles straight after Disney. I think she did another Cinderella story and then she did Monte Carlo. This movie has a very similar vibe to the Lizzie McGuire movie, but unlike the Lizzie McGuire movie, I have never seen Monte Carlo. I think I tried to watch it illegally many times when I was younger, but I could never find a clear version. I asked on Twitter what everyone's favorite Selena Gomez movie was and almost everybody said Monte Carlo. Make sure you guys go follow me on Twitter because I'm always asking which videos you guys want me to do on. I don't really ask on YouTube community. I'm usually asking on Twitter. So go make sure you follow me on Twitter at Level Trin. And we're about to jump in. But before we jump in, make sure you guys subscribe because I post all types of videos. I'm posting more commentaries, more in-depth reviews, and so many more things are to come from this channel. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on anything. If you're the first one to watch my videos, I most likely will interact in the comment section. I'm on for the first hour of posting. So if you want to talk to me, get within the first hour. Oh. oh, just the energy of these old films. Like I just miss it so much. I know like people still make like movies like this. It's just like, it's not the same. Like I'm so excited for people to grow up with like their own version of like nostalgia films. Like what's nostalgic to them? Cause this is it for me. Like this is the nostalgia based movies that like just give me that warm feeling like it's just so wonderful like oh i was so carefree in 2011 i was eight like i know people have like really big dreams to make like oscar award winning films but like if i was able to make a film like this for like young girls it would just warm my heart because they're just they build us up so much and there's nothing like it there's nothing to complete your life as a teenage girl than a cheesy, cutesy rom-com. Uh, yeah. Where can I get free ice? <gasps> OMG, babe. Hey, see you here. Let's see here. You got any specials? Oh my God, he has a country accent. <gasps> He's not what Selena Gomez is in this movie? Are you kidding me? Corey Monteith would have been a perfect heartthrob for rom-coms of the 2020s. He would have. He would have been great for the renaissance of rom-coms. What are you talking about? Do you know what they're talking about? No, I do not. Meg is going to Paris too. <laughs> Off to Paris, not even packed? You're fucking crazy, Selena. You would have said no. No? No to the sisterhood of the traveling to France? Are you crazy? Who could pass that up? Oh my God, that's so funny that she said that because her co-star, <laughs> Black Lively, was in The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. <laughs> okay, calm down. <laughs> like, it literally wasn't that big of a deal. Are you not coming in? Don't go. <gasps> it's a week, Owen. Owen, oh, you're here. toxic. Fine. And marry me. He's done this in two different stories. Marry me. Stop. You're a serial marrier. You need to stop. And I think he works at a car shop in this too. Cause that's what he looked like he was wearing earlier. Oh my goodness, I can't believe he did it twice. How could they do that to him twice? You found a whole new life with Robert. And I'm happy for you. Just let me go find mine. We need Selena Gomez back in acting. Like we literally, uh, back in acting, she's literally on Only Murders in the Building, but we need her in like romance again because rom-com starring Selena Gomez, like, oh my God. God, I need it. I need it back in my life. Like she has just got something within her that is just, it's so unique and like no one can touch. It. I'm so sorry. Like she is just mother to me. Like she was sister growing up and she's mother now. I need her to be in every single movie. Like you guys are not casting Selena Gomez in nearly enough things. Cause she's got it. Every jour et nuit, 
I think it's, this is totally off track, but I think it's fascinating how much, how many locations have been like documented amongst films, like not even like documentaries, like film, fictional films. Like even if they're like a bunch of it is staged, I don't know, still like having these moments, like if you film Paris today, it's not gonna look like that. I don't know, I just think it's kind of fun and it's fun to have movies that are set in those places. I don't know, whatever, I'm like taking it back. I feel like what I'm saying is really stupid. Um. It doesn't make any sense. I'm so sad. I don't know where that came from. I don't know where that like sudden outburst of emotion just came from. Let me tell you something about shoes, Meg. They ain't hurting. They ain't helping. They should have just casted Blake Lively. That's that she literally looks like Blake Lively. They're literally Blair and Serena. Let's just let's just cast who we wanted to. Oozes. Guys. The room doesn't matter. This is my favorite setup of any movie. This does not look like how it was pictured. Guys, it isn't that bad. We can, can we just like enjoy it? Let's just make the best of it. Favorite setup ever. You know some crazy stuff is about to go down after it and I love it. Don't wanna miss when Owen calls to apologize. I hope Owen comes to Paris. I hope he comes, cause I, cause I need, cause Corey Monteith can not be in that movie for like that short amount of time. Top five movies that take place over summer break in a foreign country: Monte Carlo, Lizzie McGuire, LOL, um, no, uh, Far From Home, and Call Me by Your Name. <laughs> Those are just the first ones I can think of. Okay. Sorry, it is what it is. Leave me alone. Leave your leave your leave your top five in the comment section down below. My name's Riley. What's yours? Meg, the bus is leaving. Why is Meg the only one finding a romantic connection? I need I need Selena to be in a romantic connection, please. Last time we watched a romantic movie with Selena, another Cinderella story, I found the worst. I discovered the worst age gap in the like history of my childhood movies and I have to look it up now because I feel like he's very old and she's not. He was 26 when they filmed this. How old was Selena Gomez? Ooh, Selena Gomez was 15 years old when they filmed this. And he was 26 years old. Oh my God. Why was that okay? They kissed. I can't have that happening right now. And how do you propose I travel to Monte Carlo in the morning? O M G! It doesn't get better than this. And the thing is, I'm like, oh, they don't make movies like this. When literally the Princess Switch happened with Vanessa Hudgens, like it exists, but it doesn't have at all the same energy as this. It will never have the same energy as this. And you know, I don't know why. I, I couldn't put it. I couldn't put my my finger on it. But you're never gonna get it like this. A uh, twenty-six pound langoust. I shall take it in my room. If you don't make Selena Gomez play twins in a new movie coming out next year, I'm gonna kill myself. Like if it doesn't happen, I'm gonna be pissed. Dang. Let's help you to your car. Stealing mail. It wasn't a crime before, but now it's a crime. Stealing mail is a crime. We are going to Monte Carlo. But like, why do you not care about like all your stuff at the crappy hotel? Like you don't care about any of that stuff at the crappy hotel. I would be worried. Even if it was just crappy stuff. It's my crappy stuff. Wait, I oh my God, it's Timothy Chalamet, but right. buff. Look, here it is. Feeling things, feeling many things. <laughs> didn't need to see that today. I didn't not need to see that today. Miss. Okay, never mind. He took off his glasses and it was not it, but still a cute patootie with a big fat booty. We need to bring these cameras back because the cameras nowadays are a little bit Thank too you. clear. And and I don't know if I'm the only one that thinks that, but a part of the reason why movies are different nowadays is because of the camera. Like I want this camera to be back. It's a little bit grainy. The colors are a little off. It's a little bit slower. It just makes it better. I don't need high definition. I want this feeling back. And, and, I, and I hope someone out there knows what I'm saying about that. That's a major key difference is literally just by the way it looks. Oh, he's very cute. <laughs> I wonder what he looks like now. Pause. I want to know what he looks like now. Cause I'm gonna be disappointed. Uh, 
actually, he's still pretty cute. He's not as cute as he was, though. He looks like Shia LaBeouf in this picture. And he looks like Kendall from Big Time Rush in this one. He looks different in every fucking picture. He literally looks like KJ Appa in this picture. He's never posted about Monte Carlo. You're sick. You're sick. I'm a French actor. Oh, acted in Monte Carlo, period. Yeah. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. Are you coming? Are you coming? Uh, you're a little freak. So dang, dang delicious. Not anymore. As soon as someone's mean to me, they're not cute. I used to think that I would be an enemy to lovers girl in real life, but I'm not. As soon as someone's mean to me, I start crying. I'm not upset. I'm not upset at all. What would make you think that I'm upset? I'm not available to you. Not available. Maybe if you put her on a bus and let her go be free and let her sing Roots before branches, she wouldn't have she wouldn't have lost her phone and she wouldn't have been so angry at you. A Friday's option. Oh, I love her British accent. Because I'll be here. She's honestly really good. All week. All week. Because I'll be here all week. Like, she's really good. Almost as good as me. <laughs> so a lot of futures are changing. It almost makes dressing up worth it. Almost? What do you mean? <laughs> it almost makes dressing up worth it. What do you mean almost? It completely makes getting dressed up worth it. Hello. Oh. Hey, how you doing? Yeah. They casted some cutie patooties in this. I wish I watched this when I was younger. I would have thought all of them were ugly because I wasn't attracted to men until I was 15 years old. But nonetheless, would have loved to know about them earlier on in my life. Uh, Shut up. Uh, merci. You look up. Oh, he looks so boyfriend. Some people just have their boyfriend roles. And a lot of the times throughout Glee, he wasn't giving boyfriend. But he's giving boyfriend. Your best friend is an 18 year old girl. <gasps> Excuse me. And your boyfriend. Okay, who died and made you such Emma. a. Your best friend being an 18 year old girl is kind of crazy, though. That's not what I meant. Oh, because her mom died. Oh, the Australian man. I forgot about him. Boots? Boots to the beach? Brushing your teeth? <laughs> like, hey, like, what hey. is going on with this guy? Brushing his teeth in the parking lot? Your name is Riley? That's a problem. That's such a big problem. People should not be named Riley in the year 2011. It left us behind. How, wait, he got to Monte Carlo too? Stupid bus. Stupid bus. I can't believe he's following them. Are you? What? You sound something different. Are you dumb? Chip, chop, spit, spot, come on, let's go, off we go, quickly, come on. Are you dumb? Is this French boy dumb? You sound different. Yeah, it's an American accent. Can you tell the difference? Ooh, he's Timothy Chalamet making me angry. Monte Carlo reboot. Same with Selena Gomez and then Timothy Chalamet. Have, everything is the same except that boy is Timothy Chalamet. Don't get me excited. I'll be the one to make the Monte Carlo reboot that we've been waiting for. The, 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 the remake of Monte Carlo, reviving this story 10 years later. Ready, ready to nice run one. Free. Thank you. Stop. You got me blushing. Like, each character's chemistry with their mans is, like, a little bit too good. Like, what happened to chemistry tests? What happened to them? Because we're missing them for many movies. Almost every single movie we're missing chemistry. Get them back in the testing rooms. Test the chemistry before you cast them. Because where is this? Every single scene nowadays, it's like they literally could not want to be further away from each other. You miss your mom. I can't find my way back. Okay. I went to the hospital. Pause. I have to just give this movie props. Okay, so I, I know like probably a lot of my compliments are going um, unnoticed or kind of um, kind of just over your head because you're probably just thinking I'm just saying it's good because I like the vibe and I like the nostalgia-based uh, feeling it's giving me. 
But I do have to say a lot of things were a lot of the times the things were missing from movies nowadays. I'm, I'm not talking about movies in general. I'm talking about this specific genre of movies, this kind of like young adult teen PG rom-com cheesy like chick flick movie where it's kind of targeted towards younger a younger audience. I felt like whenever we watched them and I I felt like these older ones from this era I think they develop their characters really well and they give them a lot more backstory and a lot more art a, a lot more setup than we do nowadays. I think a lot of the times nowadays they kind of just see it as like a quick money grab. They put some famous actors in it. They give them a shitty script. They're like, mom died. And then they mention it once. And it's, it just seems very um, awkward and enforced. Whereas in this movie, we've been like developing their characters from the very first scene that they were in, which is just how all movies should be. And I'm not praising it for doing the bare minimum, but I'm saying that that might be a key difference between this movie genre back in the day and now but that can be a conversation for another day that's like a big conversation for right now but that was just something that i noticed if it doesn't make sense don't say anything play i'm gonna go meet his friends and then we're gonna go dancing meg what has gotten into you I know. <sighs> i'm sorry they could have had a wonderful i hate to say it i really do i know you guys are sick of me saying this but they could have had a great enemies to lover story i'm sorry i know i say this every single time and you guys can never catch a break from me but it just has to be said like no one else was gonna say it so i have to say it they could have been amazing girlfriends what were you thinking Stay classy, well why does she get to have it That's crazy. That's such a fucking crazy thing to do. Rather than her wearing it, you're putting it in his nasty gym bag. I'm really scared. This is Dude, I totally forgot she was a singer. I would love it to hear her sing Le'Veon Rose. See, that's what happens when you see Selena Gomez in a movie. You forget that she's actually, like she's so good at acting that you forget that she's a singer. I don't know why it happens every single time I see her in any role, I forget that she's a, phenomenal singer as well. Triple threat, triple threat, oh my God. Why, why do I feel kind of like crying? I don't know, it's a very sweet movie. It's just, I like it that they're not together the whole movie and like seeing them grow individually is like a very fun and just a cute way to like move the story along. I think it's very, it's just cute, it's cute. That's a real man right there. How come I've never seen this movie? Like, what was I waiting for to watch this movie? Like, I was literally waiting so long to see Corey Monty in a rom-com with Selena Gomez. Good morning. You say good morning like that in Monte Carlo? Forgot how I hate the French. <laughs> I love her. I love her. Could you be a little positive? One night out. Emma has been barefooting it around the city this whole time. She's a force to be reckoned with. Barefooting it in Paris and Monte Carlo? Yuck. Those dogs are, are ruthless. Those dogs are indestructible. Corey's back. We've been, I've been waiting for him this whole entire fucking movie. What was he filming? Glee season four? Like, Jesus Christ. Corey's for the police. Wait, 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 the police? Whoa. But Split screen doing wonders. You have it. Way better, way better than Princess Switch. Hey, people are counting on her. Or on you. What? That's not my problem. Dang, you should just kill her and take her place. I see a much easier solution than trying to get her to vibe with you guys. Cause she's not chill like that. So we might as well just kill her. What, what are, are you, you doing? doing? What am I doing here? Babe? What? what am I doing here? What are you doing here? Running all over Paris looking for you. I've been running all over Paris looking for you. Hi. This is so Emily in Paris. In every good way possible. Don't knock it till you try it. Emily in Paris. Emily in Paris will, Sands will always win at the end of the day because their show is getting renewed. Yes, I was just worried. 
because he saw everything there is to see. 2011. Oh. And look, I, I, yeah, he was filming season four when this came out. It was either season three or season four. <gasps> OMG, I'm a genius. I was thinking about what season he would have been filming in 2011. I'm helping. Sold for six million euros to my- I was waiting for, oh my God. That was a shock. I was not expecting the aunt to come back. I thought she was gonna betray us. Wow, that's cool. Mother. Where to? Let's go home. Let's go home, are you kidding me? I literally just went all across Paris for you and you wanna go home now? You take care of my sister. You're fucking crazy. Out of everything that happened in this movie, Meg going off with this random Australian man named Riley is like so bonkers and unsafe. Like the ending of this movie is so wild, really bonkers. Like they're just like, yeah, like he's been nice to us and he came back with a necklace. So like, I guess they can go travel abroad together. Dude, you guys are fucking wild. You break one law and now you just trust everyone. Oh, yeah, she plays sad girl so time. well. She plays sad girl faking ha happy so well. Do you know what I mean? Hey mom. Hey mom. Like, I can't even do it because she does it so well. Like, she just does it so well. She does sad girl faking happy so well. Whoa, whoa, this seems kind of sinister. Like the no music playing, it kind of seems like they're gonna die. Ah! The zoom out is what got me. Like the scream was like a cute moment between them. The zoom out is what got me. Just like that. Try it out. Oh my God, that's so cute. I'm literally just like that. Try it out. Oh, see, and people have the nerve to call me high maintenance. Like this is, this is bare minimum I'm getting excited over. He made a dim light switch and I thought it was the most romantic thing ever. Oh, he's so hot. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Theo Marchand. Dude. It's nice to meet you. Doesn't get any fucking better than this. Everybody tells me that it's so hard to make. That's the same that's the same beat as Tell Me Something I Don't Know by Selena Gomez in the scene. I gotta hand it to them. They killed that. I will say the ending was a little bit iffy for me, but I still really liked it. There's not much I could say about it other than it's a cult classic in my opinion now. Like cult classics are not cult classics until I decide that they are. And this is one of them. It gives me the same energy of Aquamarine, LOL, Parent Trap, Ring a Bell, Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. Bring back girl friendship movies because they're not hitting like they used to. They simply just are not. So bring them back. Monte Carlo remake, let's do it. Timothy Chalamet as Teo, Selena Gomez as Selena Gomez. Bring back Layton too. Bring back the entire, like I said, the entire original cast except Timothy Chalamet. He would do wonders in that. Like Timothy Chalamet would have like annihilated like rom-com era. If that was like what he wanted to do, like he would be heart, like he is heartthrob, but I'm saying like heartthrob in a sense of like how Hugh Grant was heartthrob, like in the rom-coms, you know what I mean? Like he could have, and he still has time to. He still has all the time in the world. This is number one Timothy Chalamet stand. Like I literally love him so much. Like he is so talented, so wonderful, so dreamy, so charming. And I would like him to be in Monte Carlo. That's all I have to say. Five out of five stars. Honestly, a really banger movie. We'll watch it again. I love Selena Gomez and I, 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 I need her back in movies. I need her back on the screen in movies, full feature films, please, 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 please. Bye.